Hi, I'd just like to take you through uh, two or three safety factors in relation to the scrum, particularly around the neck. Uh, one will be in the setup, uh, one will be on the bind, and one will be if it does collapse. So uh, these are three really important factors that we have to help the uh, young men and women to make sure that uh, the scrum's safe. Fellas, this uh, small session is about the neck. Uh, it's a safety factor and I'll take you through two or three activities that we must make sure that we do correctly and then I'll help you with a wee bit of neck strengthening stuff to, to help you along the way, okay? So, um, first off, can I just have a prop out here, please? Uh, just facing that way. So if you just crouch and hold for me, please. Thank you. Yeah, just crouch. Yeah, down you go. So this gentleman's neck, we'd like it to be in line with his back, yeah? So that's what we call neutral. So if I hold this gentleman's head here and stand up, it should be like he stands here as a human being. So where we get a bit of a fallacy is when coaches say, get your head up, so you crouch for me again, please. Now get your head up, get your head up. Now keep it there. Now, what happens now is, if I hold him here and he stands up, that's how, that's how he's going into a scrum. So what's he gonna do just before contact? He's gonna drop his head down to get out of there. And that's the one last position we want his neck to be, is in there. So keep your head neutral, get used to it being neutral. So when you come down, your neck is just an extension of your spine. Go back to your good technique, big fella. And just look at my hand so you can see where you're going. Woo. And up you come. So that's where you want to be. You're happy there. Okay. Now, the other issue we had, once we changed the law to the pre-bind law, and then teams started to lean, particularly lean, lean too much, we started to get axial loading. That means props are putting their heads against their opponent's shoulder on the bind call and then when they engaged they had to try and get under or get in to where they meant to go. So we started to get a lot of complaints, particularly from hookers, getting crook necks, injured necks. So it's to be avoided, okay? So when we're doing it, don't try and get a head onto the shoulder. So what we'll do is we'll do it the wrong way to demonstrate it. Okay, so bind up please. We're just we're not going to engage. We're just going to crouch, bind, stand up. Is that okay? So you're going to put that part of your head against that shoulder. Crouch, bind, stand up. So you can see the load, all the scrum is going through the neck. The neck's not designed to take that weight. So, don't do that. If you're getting too much lean from behind, and it's causing you that, stop the lean from behind a wee bit. So where we'd like you to be, so loose head props, our job is to hit in and up or in and hold down. What is it? In and up. In and up. So if you go back, you lean against each other, you two, and you do it wrong, just you two do, you do it wrong. Now, it defies logic to me that his job is to hit in and up. By putting a head against the shoulder, he can't. His first movement on the set, he has to go down. And if he gets hit by a tight head who hits a wee bit down on him, it causes collapses and he ends up in poor technique. So again, that's don't do that. So you just want to be just under the shoulder so you can slide in and up. So let's have a look at you two boys. So you're right. So crouch, bind, set. So now he can slide in and up, he's under the shoulder, no axial loading through the neck. Break. Can we do three on three this time, boys? Do you boys put heads on shoulders? Try not to. But Try not to, it happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably from the back five, eh? We'll blame them. Crouch. Bind. Set. Break, one more. You could even even tuck a fraction lower, I reckon. Oh, yeah. So you're not right against him. See yeah. how you feel. One more, boys. Crouch. Bind. That's better. Set. Okay, and break. So how's all that feeling? All right. 
So if you're getting pushed too much from behind, sort it out with the valve. You know, sure I understand a wee bit of leaning's fine, but if you get too much, this is the, this is the problems with it. So you don't want to end up with your axle loading with your head on a shoulder all day and you hookers will have a very short career at top level if you do it all the time. You happy on that? So the last thing I just want to cover is collapsing. So occasionally the, the, the scrum will collapse. So what is the safest way to, if it's going down, what's the safest way to put your head? Face first. Yeah, face in the mud or cheeks in the mud. Okay, what's the one position we never want to get to? Mm -hmm. Correct. Dropping the chin onto the chest, okay? So if we just go quietly, you two boys lean in against the other, bind up, yeah, and lean in properly, bind up on each other, and just pretend, just take your feet, we're going to collapse quietly and face in the mud. Bang, and then that's it. How did you end up? I only saw him, he was good, how'd you go? Yeah, forehead. forehead, face, as long as you're okay. Was, the big thing is, when you come down, just don't try and round, just flatten down. Do you want to do one more for me, please? That's it, and quietly take it down and face and flat. There you go. Happy? So we don't want to collapse, but it does happen. So we've got to know, don't panic. That's our safety mechanism for our neck. Sweet.